Thanks for joining us. I'm meteorologist Nicole Karkic. Our developing stories today, extreme cold still a concern across most of the country. We've got snowfall forecasts for today and key watches and warnings. There are a lot of them, especially in the east. And we take a look at uh, Atlantic Canada today. A sharp contrast temperature-wise compared to yesterday. This afternoon, Halifax, minus 11 for the daytime high instead of above the freezing mark. Same story in St. John's. We went from about uh, plus eight yesterday to minus six this afternoon. And yes, some purple still in Quebec and right across through Western Canada. Now taking a look at your peak wind gusts as of, of 12 a.m. local time in the east, Moncton gusts up to 80 kilometers an hour. Newfoundland, uh, Port of Basque, 120. And that will continue to be quite gusty, especially in Newfoundland as the morning goes on. So indicative of what's going on there. The wind's easing a little bit in the Maritimes, but anything that's highlighted in pink, even the dark orange, is where you can draw your eyes to see where we're getting the strongest winds. Uh, southwesterly winds, generally speaking, and then it's going to be easing as we head into tomorrow. Notice that pink starting to disappear uh, even into this evening hour. But Newfoundland, yeah, still some strong winds into St. John's, sustained at about 20 to 40 kilometers an hour Wednesday afternoon. And then we have to worry about a new system. So even if you get that lull, it will return with some more snow Wednesday into Thursday and the winds picking up again. Uh, for now, we do have these wind warnings in place in purple indicating extreme cold and over towards the Gaspé Peninsula you are in a blizzard warning so that's not just the snowfall but the strong winds gusting over 60 kilometers an hour western shores of Newfoundland as well uh, we're looking at blowing snow advisories for you this morning stepping out with a lot of layers on in the east we've got Charlottetown feeling closer to minus 29 and in Quebec also there's that deep chill for you Montreal minus 24 to start the day so keep this in mind if you're feeling wind chills uh, between minus 28 to minus 39 frostbite within five to ten minutes on your exposed in skin so stay safe quite a few watches and warnings in place. Glad you could join us today. I'm meteorologist Nicole Karkic. So as we take a look at the West Coast, busy in the West with some snowfall warnings still in place there. And for you in the East, we do have uh, St. John's, Newfoundland, just included in a wind warning for gusts up to 100 kilometers an hour. Some blowing snow across the western shores of Newfoundland. So you can see there's that snow across the Avalon Peninsula, Corner Brook, Buckins as well, getting some squalls off of the Gulf of the St. Lawrence. And Cape Breton Island too, we are seeing some uh, squalls for you. So reduce visibility of traveling through those areas doesn't look as bad on the radar but if you're traveling through one of those bands it's going to be next to nil in terms of visibility now temperature wise this morning it is feeling a lot colder out there so if you're stepping outside this morning in Halifax and Fredericton even or Moncton it is drastically different anything in purple is going to be your coldest temperatures and that continues to funnel in right into Newfoundland for this afternoon getting into those darker blues as well so a sharp contrast in fact we have a few extreme cold warnings in place in New Brunswick. Fredericton is included, Moncton's included, Sussex, Acadian Peninsula, Campbellton, Edmonston, you get the idea. A lot of areas feeling closer to the minus 35 zone. So that is definitely a concern for frostbite if you're out there for too long. The afternoon, not a huge improvement, but getting up to minus 19 with the wind chill in the city of Halifax. And for the next seven days, we do have a system coming through tomorrow, uh, bringing about five to 10 centimeters of snow for Halifax. You'll see minus Minus eight at that daytime high and bumping up to plus one on Friday. And then we do stabilize as we head into next week in terms of temperatures and the sunshine will be back. But it was uh, quite a treacherous Sunday night with freezing rain as well as the snow. So clean up mode for this week. And this morning in Montreal, minus 24 with the wind chill. Trois Rivières will be minus 23 this morning as you start the day. This afternoon, those are the daytime highs. Quebec City getting up to minus 17. And for the next few days, we are seeing snow moving into Montreal. That will be under five centimeters for your Wednesday. And then the coldest day of the week across Quebec will be Wednesday. It's also going to be quite windy too with uh, wind sustained between 20 to even 40 kilometers an hour, even for Montreal, Ontario for you this morning. Wow, quite the snow pile. Uh, for temperatures in Thunder Bay, it's minus 21, feeling close to minus 30. Cap is casing, minus 30 with the wind chills. So it's a lot of dangerous temperatures here. By the afternoon, these are our daytime highs. So staying entrenched in that cold air. And this morning, Morning, if you're in southern Ontario, St. Catharines is minus 10, feeling closer to minus 15, and your afternoon high is shaping up like this. But the big concern today in southern Ontario are the snow squalls still continuing through the typical snow belt regions with westerly winds. And for tomorrow, London will be seeing a heavy band. Toronto, your seven-day forecast. There's Wednesday, minus 13.
Well, very good morning to you. It's Tuesday, January the 6th. Meteorologist Nicole Kark and Chris Murphy with you. Uh, the glacial air moving at a glacial speed. That's Nicole. right. So looking at this uh, map, anything in the dark purple are our temperatures between minus 15 to yep. minus 30. So we're showing you this because there's just not much in, of an improvement all week, with the exception of southern Alberta getting yep. a brief warm up tomorrow. Yeah, snow today, warmer tomorrow, and then cold again back on Thursday, Friday. And the cold air, my goodness, are you ever feeling it this morning in the Maritimes? Halifax this time yesterday. Yesterday it was plus eight with the wind chill feeling closer to minus 28, right. about a 36 degree swing in Huge the field. Huge difference. So oh. uh, it's all across the board. Frigid. And we're seeing snow today. Western shores of Newfoundland squall setting up, so an additional five to 10 centimeters yeah. into Wednesday night. Yeah, and then another low pressure system will clip southern Nova Scotia beginning overnight tonight, but mainly tomorrow and the Avalon Peninsula, five to perhaps 15 centimeters of snow. Right, so. And tomorrow, today, the east side of Georgian Bay, tomorrow they'll move off, uh, the move south and could see a significant right. band around the London area, St. Thomas, Strathroy tomorrow. That'll be one to watch. Exactly. And as we look at temperatures, minus 12 this morning in Toronto, feeling closer to minus 18. Oh. The winds are picking up into the afternoon, though, so it's yeah. going to get even worse with those wind chill values yeah. into overnight. Yeah, that's when the real, real cold is coming in and the coldest air of the season. Across the prairies, minus 20 core temperatures, minus 30 wind chills. Boy. That's through the morning. Yikes. Uh, they'll be rating an exercise. Size. Very invigorating. You just have to be <laughs> sure to bundle up. This morning yeah. in Calgary, minus 15. Abbotsford sitting at 7 and Nanaimo 7. We're really rebounding in terms of your temperatures this week in yeah. southern BC. But look at these snowfall totals, Unreal. Chris. Yes, uh, Kamloops almost 30 centimeters, over 33 in Kelowna. And Asoyu, 17 centimeters of snow, one third your annual snowfall total. Wow, skiers are happy in the west. And this is the, for for the snowfall forecast into Wednesday morning. So, uh, warning in Jasper. Right now, we'll head to Arizona. Well, very good morning to you. Tuesday, January the 6th, extreme cold, still a concern, Nicole. That's right. And snow for many of you in the east as well as the west. Yes. All right. And uh, key watches and warnings, we will be updating all of that. Let's start off with a look across the country. Right. Temperature-wise, a big story, uh, Nicole, with uh, much of the nation well below seasonal. Yeah, and we do have extreme cold warnings in northern New Brunswick. Fredericton, Moncton, you're included. Yes. Uh, Toronto, minus 8 for you this afternoon. Ouch. So temperatures this morning, mm. even colder than that. Minus 20 in the peg. Minus 21 in the Queen City, so a lot of cold air. All right, uh, joining us now, we have uh, Kelly Noseworthy joining us. And Kelly is uh, certainly outside in the uh, cold air. Where are you, Kelly, and how does it feel out there? Uh, Nicole, let's talk about the snow squalls. The right. cold is widespread. The snow squalls a little more uh, particular. Right, okay, we've got some westerly winds setting up uh, off of the Great Lakes here. Oh, just drop the clicker. There you go. <laughs> Work hazard. Live TV, folks, it happens. Joy. Uh, so the westerly winds towards yes. Perry Sound at this point and we just got a watch issued for areas like London and Goderich because we're gonna see those winds uh, setting up there for tonight absolutely so today it's a westerly wind tonight it's a northwesterly wind in tomorrow so that will drive the squalls further south and we're keeping a real close eye so the 401 the 402 right. and certainly highway 21 just to name a few areas are likely to be impacted but for now it's uh, places like Perry Sound Muskoka region and of course the east side of Lake Superior so far north of Sault Ste. Marie but the squalls are likely lose event of in the crash. Well, they can be extraordinarily dangerous because yeah. of very poor visibility, uh, just like that. And uh, there's going to be very cold. We mentioned the widespread minus 20 this morning in Ottawa. That's excluding the wind chill. Having said that, the Rideau Canal, the ice still unsafe. So right. it's not open yet. We'll let you know when it does, but not yet. Okay. And uh, this morning in northern Ontario, Thunder yes. Bay minus 30 with the wind chill. But into the afternoon, we're going to see some sunshine. And for Montreal, ouch, minus 24 as you step out today. All right. Well, quick look at some of the tweets that we've been sending oh, you our yes. way. And uh, we wanted to know other words for cold. And Jackie says glacial and hog heating and AC, talking about freezing and biting. Glad you could join us this morning. I'm meteorologist Nicole Karkik. Here's a look at Monday's high to compare with what we're seeing today. Calgary, minus 13. You're going to see a bump up in temperatures into tomorrow, especially. Uh, Winnipeg, minus 19. And yes, the colors mean something. Anything in purple or dark blue is our coldest air. So Toronto sitting at minus 6 yesterday. Halifax was 8 degrees. And this is where we're seeing our biggest difference. St. John's, 9 degrees yesterday. But now you're getting into the deep purples for the afternoon here in Halifax as well as St. John's. So temperatures, uh, 
dipping below the freezing mark. And that trend really continues into Saturday. So notice we don't get into those nice warm yellows or even light blues across Canada this week. Anything in purple is where we have extreme cold warnings in place. That does include Fredericton, Moncton, as well as Edmonston for this morning. So feeling close to minus 35. Uh, we're going to be seeing snow moving in tomorrow again for the Maritime Provinces. Some sun for you today, but we still have a lot of snow on the ground. Sunday into Monday, Halifax picked up nine centimeters. Deer Lake, 17, and Deer Lake has more snow to go today with some squalls setting up off the Gulf of the St. Lawrence. We've got Corner Brook seeing about five to 10 centimeters of snow and blowing snow advisories for the central part of Newfoundland. And this is into Wednesday night. So with another system moving through tomorrow, we are going to see Halifax picking up 5 to 10 and St. John's 10 to 15. So that's on the horizon for tomorrow into Thursday morning. Now this morning, the wind's still a concern. Uh, anything in pink is our strongest wind. So towards uh, Newfoundland, you can see the pink is going to be your sustained winds at 60 kilometers or above. So generally a southwesterly flow. And then as we head into the afternoon, things die down a little bit. An improvement for tomorrow morning. But then with a the new system on the horizon, those winds will pick up again first for the Maritime Province. Is Wednesday afternoon. This morning, Halifax, quite a different morning compared to yesterday. Minus 25 uh, with the wind chill. For you in Fredericton, minus 34 with the wind chill. Yesterday, you were just below the freezing mark for the daytime high. So today is a lot cooler. Montreal, minus 24 this morning for you. But we are going to see some sunshine into the afternoon and squalls setting up in Ontario once again. Bitterly cold temperatures aren't going anywhere. Glad you could join us. I'm meteorologist Nicole Karkic. We've got my purple blazer on, matching this purple map. And anything in our uh, deep purple here are our coldest temperatures, minus 15 to minus 30, and that's without the wind chill. So notice most of the country in those temperatures, except for southern BC as we head into tomorrow. This morning, Toronto minus 12, feeling like minus 18. So, Kelly, braving those cold temperatures right now, what can you tell us? Can you feel your fingers? Uh, back to you for now. All right, thanks so much, Kelly. So let's look at this morning in terms of temperatures. Uh, Barry minus 13, that's without the windshield. Kingston minus 12, Ottawa minus 20. And then we'll look at tomorrow morning because tonight we're going to see a drop in temperatures. So tomorrow morning, even colder. But what's going to make tomorrow worse is that the winds are picking up tonight. So tomorrow morning, it is going to be gusty. Winds gusting between uh, 50 to 60 kilometers an hour inland in southern Ontario. Closer to the shorelines, it'll be even stronger. So these windshield values could even go down a bit as we head into Wednesday morning when we get those strong gusts. This morning in Thunder Bay feels like minus 30. Geraldton minus 29 for you, but we do have some quieter weather in the north with the exception of Sault Ste. Marie where some squalls are still setting up for you into the afternoon. And Wednesday morning, again, colder temperatures feeling closer to the minus 40s. So instead of the minus 30s, minus 40s. Outages after Sunday's big ice storm that went through. Uh, this morning in Montreal's minus 18 feeling closer to minus 24. And we do have for Wednesday morning morning a bit of a difference in some areas a bit warmer in Montreal minus 18 for you but still significant in terms of those cold temperatures for Wednesday Montreal you're going to pick up about five centimeters of snow minus 11 and then Thursday will be your coldest day minus 17 and then the trend does show that as we head into next week we're going to stabilize at about minus seven to minus eight and as we look ahead to other areas in the country uh, like Ontario your coldest day is going to be tomorrow afternoon now with all this active weather happening across Across the country, you can always upload your photos and videos to our website, theweathernetwork.com. We've received a lot from Atlantic Canada this week. And speaking of that, squalls are setting up on the western shores of Newfoundland. Well, let's check in with Deb Medietchka, who's bragging a little bit about the beautiful weather that she's experiencing in Arizona. Good morning. Hopefully you're having a great start to the day. Grab the coffee and grab the jackets because cold is still a concern right across the country. Snowfall forecasts in place for today in parts of the west and in parts of the east. And key watches and warnings is what will get you through as well. So this afternoon, if you're in the deep purples, that's the coldest air. Winnipeg minus 20 for the afternoon. And that's without the wind chill. So feeling closer to minus 30 with those strong winds. Toronto minus 8 and over towards St. John's. Quite a difference from yesterday. You're minus 6. Let's head outside where Kelly Noseworthy is joining us. I understand you're still in the city of Toronto at this point where it's much colder this morning even compared to yesterday. 
That's a good tip to keep in mind. Thanks so much, Kelly. I actually went and bought some uh, gloves yesterday. My hands are so small that I bought kids' gloves. They were cheaper, though, so uh, that was a bonus. This morning, Toronto minus 12, feeling closer to minus 18. Ottawa minus 20 for you as you step out in the nation's capital. And this morning towards the north, a bit of cloud cover at Thunder Bay at this point. You're minus 30, but we're going to see a clearing trend for you into the afternoon. And this morning in the Gatineau region, you're minus 20. Montreal's minus 18, feeling closer to minus 24. But up towards Val door minus 33 with those wind chills and we put this map together for you so you can understand what it means to have very strong wind chills for your skin so moderate wind chill would be minus 28 to minus 39 so exposed skin within 10 to 30 minutes can get frostbite so bundling up your faces as well as your hands Your national forecast, I'm meteorologist Nicole Karkik, looking at Monday's highs to compare with what we have going on today. Vancouver, 8 degrees. Calgary, minus 13. You're going to warm up a little bit for just a day. Ottawa, minus 8. And St. John's and Halifax, look at that, plus 9, plus 8. But for today, temperatures into the minus 20s with the wind chill to start off your morning. And that's why we've got this map for you to show you all those purples invading the east. Anything in purple or dark blue are our coldest temperatures. And note, we're not seeing any yellows coming up here. It's staying stateside. Even the states are dealing with record low temperatures this week. In the east, we do have some blowing snow warnings in place. The western shores of Newfoundland and the purple is our extreme cold warnings in place for you in Quebec and northern New Brunswick. Deuce visibility at times, particularly around Buckins or Corner Brook. And from Sunday into Monday, we had some snow falling, so when the winds pick up, it'll whip it all around. Halifax, 9 centimeters for you. Fredericton picked up 18, and for Gander, you were sitting at 8 centimeters. And this is the snowfall we have picking up tomorrow through to Wednesday night. So 5 to 10 centimeters starting in Yarmouth and Halifax by uh, overnight, really. And then for Newfoundland, that will be through your Wednesday afternoon. Temperatures different from yesterday. Sydney feeling like minus 24. And for St. John's, it's minus 18 with the wind chill for you. And as we make our way towards Quebec, not a big improvement either. And this trend will stay with us as we head into the rest of the week. Let's head now to Ontario's radar where you can see the squalls setting up with some westerly winds towards Perry Sound. And for tonight, we're going to see a band setting up in southwestern Ontario. So London Sarnia is going to get hit pretty hard too. Let's go to the city of Toronto now where we've got Kelly Noseworthy. And I can see your breath. I certainly can see it. It is cold out there back to you. All right, looking forward to that. Thanks, Kelly. As we look at our snowfall forecast into Wednesday night, anything in our white, so close to the shorelines, Grand Bend, Kincard, and over towards Owen Sound. Seeing the most snow for this afternoon, the Saugeen Shores and the Bruce Peninsula are under a snowfall warning, but we do have areas like London towards uh, Stratford going to see a heavy band setting up for tomorrow afternoon, so we will see tomorrow morning's commute being a little dicey there. Now let's go to beautiful Arizona, where Demity has is on a tough assignment. Uh, she's going to tell us the fun things you can do there. Uh, very good morning to you. It is Tuesday, January the 6th, feeling very much like January. Cross it Maid is. Parts. It certainly is. If you didn't think it felt like winter in December, well, yes. it's here with a bang. Certainly is. Extreme cold still a concern. That's one of our developing stories, of course. And we've got snowfall forecast today with a few blowing mm. snow advisories in the east and still some lingering snow in B.C. Key watches and warnings. Uh, we've got them in the east coast, across Ontario, northern prairies, and British Columbia. Risk, risk of freezing rain after very heavy snow yeah, yesterday. Yeah, exactly. So uh, an unstable snowpack in B.C. Yeah. Avalanche risk certainly going up for today. Right. Now let's head to uh, southern Ontario now. We find Kelly Noseworthy in Toronto. Kelly, how's it doing any improvement from the last hour? Thanks so much, oh, Kelly. Nice. I love Blue West Village. Oh, it's a great, great part stuff. of town. Uh, but it is cold. You heard Kelly talk about it almost uh, coast to coast to coast. Uh, and, and the cold air has certainly arrived in the east coast as well, yeah, Nicole, exactly. where the biting wind, its uh, you're feeling it on your face. You're getting sea effect snow in Atlantic Canada and, of course, lake effect snow in Ontario. Right. So we've got uh, Sogging Shores, Bruce Peninsula, and yeah. some uh, warnings. You can see the westerly winds setting totally. up really nicely. Also off Lake Superior, uh, we've yeah. got a warning in place towards Sault Ste. Marie. Uh, so that is going to be another area getting an additional 12 centimeters within 12 hours. Yeah.
bad. Doubles deep in snow in a short period of time. Right. Poor visibility, white as we had some closures along Highway 21. We had some closures yesterday in Highway 11, exactly. Highway 400. So the warnings in blue, that's east of Georgian Bay and Bruce Peninsula, but the watches it further south, that's because we're going to see a shift in the wind yes. from the west to the northwest. So that'll drive the squalls further south overnight today, particularly through Wednesday. Yeah, and so for tomorrow morning, if you're going to be in the London region, yeah. uh, this zone right here, we're going to see tomorrow morning be the worst for visibi visibility Boy. and through the afternoon as well. Yeah, it could last much of the day. Meanwhile, Toronto, probably just a few flurries, but very cold this morning. But it's going to be even colder tomorrow and Thursday morning. That will be likely, uh, may see the city of Toronto and Hamilton uh, get their uh, extreme cold weather alerts right. for the city to get the homeless in the shelters. Exactly. Our coldest temperatures so far of the season. Yeah. Uh, this morning, Marathon feeling close to minus 27. Thunder Bay, we'll see that sunshine into tomorrow afternoon. So the north clearing up through the day uh, with that sun. It always helps a little bit, even with the cold temperatures. Yeah, feeling like minus 34 in Quebec City. You are under a wind chill a warning. And there's the snow squalls across portions of Newfoundland and blowing snow. All right, now we'll go to Arizona with Deb Medichka. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nicole Karkik. I do this fun thing every day on Twitter where I ask people for, for their photos and then we'll give you a personalized forecast the next morning. So we've got Alan sending us pictures from Barry. Now this is uh, through yesterday. You can see piling up on the Weber. <laughs> no one's barbecuing outside in Barry today. And he sent another one too. We've got buried in Barry being hashtagged. Now the personal forecast for you is that this afternoon we're going to be minus nine for the daytime high. Feeling closer to minus 17 with those winds out of the southwest sustained at about 25 kilometers an hour and through the overnight we're going to see some squalls setting up and that will be your story into tomorrow morning so minus 17 getting even colder for tomorrow morning than today and we'll see quite a bit of snow reducing visibility so take your time speaking of snow let's head all the way west and well, someone's having fun outside. The piles of snow, guess where this is? This isn't usually where we see piles of snow. West Kelowna, British Columbia, had 33 centimeters of snow uh, to start off the week. So it was actually a school day for all public schools, the first in 35 years. And it looks like that could be happening again for today. And we've got this one also in Kelowna. You can see the snowmen, <laughs> snow, snow picnic here going on. A beautiful scene, a lot of fun, of course, when we get big snowfalls and places that where people aren't used to it and we've got this shot right here also in Kamloops which received 30 centimeters of snow yesterday as well we take you next to another shot we were flooded with so many pictures in Kamloops and Kelowna on our website theweathernetwork.com so I just want to share as much as I can this is actually in South Vernon you can see the car completely covered this person probably not going anywhere and we've got the next shot right here snow covered as well holiday lights still up maybe someone's got to take care of that as temperatures warm up and this is Kamloops loops. Now, unfortunately, what we are seeing through the afternoon is a big warm up in temperatures. So Kamloops, Kelowna getting to about four or five degrees. Plus, we're going to see the rain that's created an unstable snowpack. So all the ratings here in high are in this burgundy color. So we've got North Columbia, South Columbia, uh, even close to Whistler. So do stay out of backcountry. And the last shot right here, this one in Manitoba, a cold, crisp afternoon. That was yesterday. Overwhelmingly, really cold temperatures across the country. Glad you could join us today. I'm meteorologist Nicole Karkic. Anything in purple is showing you our coldest temperatures. You here in southern Alberta and BC, a little bit warmer in those lighter blues, but we're pretty much sharing the wealth of the cold air right across into Atlantic Canada for today, right into Thursday, and into the weekend as well. And in fact, tomorrow will be the coldest day of the week across the province of Ontario. Uh, this morning, we're minus 11, feeling closer to minus 18. So when we head outside, to check in with Kelly Noseworthy or our other reporters tomorrow morning. It's going to feel even colder than today. But what can you tell us now uh, about the temperatures out there? Okay, thanks so much, Kelly. So we have to worry about the sun in the summer and the cold in the winter. Canadians across the board uh, are concerns. As we look at this afternoon, minus 8 in Toronto, minus 8 in Kingston, minus 10 in Ottawa, feeling closer to minus 16 for you. And we're going to see generally some southwesterly winds into the afternoon uh, for southern and eastern Ontario. This morning towards the north, we've got Thunder Bay at minus 21. Tomorrow, you're going to see a lot more sunshine in northern Ontario. So finally, a little 
bit of a break from the cloud cover. This afternoon, Wawa feeling close to minus 24, Sudbury minus 17 for you. And on the seven day forecast here, note Wednesday, the coldest day of the week for Toronto, Guelph, Oakville, Ottawa too. And then as we head into the weekend, we do see temperatures moderating a little bit into next week, but still Sunday snowfall and freezing rain. A lot of people were offline, uh, back online as of yesterday, quickly as the day went on. And this morning, Montreal, not an improvement, minus 26 with the wind chill. Well, let's check out Arizona right now, a place where you can vacation this winter. Well, good morning to you. It is Tuesday, January the 6th now. Nicole, you and I, we put the call out yesterday. Yes. We wanted to know, we wanted to your input, a synonym for cold. Otherwise, you and I are going to be saying cold, 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 cold. You know, so uh, exactly. hog heating and AC stepped up to the plate. He's a uh, Arctic biting brisk. Good contributions. Mm, very good. And yes. uh, we've got Jackie who suggested chilly, bitter, frigid, glacial is good. Yes. Very and then glacial. Diane, the hashtag Siberian. Yes, this air is coming from Siberia. You might say it's the old Siberia suplex. It's a cross polar flow. It's cold and it's cold almost nationwide. Exactly. So that's our top you headline betcha. here. Extreme cold, a concern because it can be dangerously cold on exposed skin if you're out there for too long, Chris. And of yeah. course, we've got a snowfall forecast for today. Certainly. Uh, it's falling in Calgary. Going to Impact this morning commute and snow squalls off the big lakes and key watches and warnings will update that for you. But let's talk about the glacial temperatures. <laughs> the frigid there. temperatures. Yes. Well, this stands out. Winnipeg minus 20 for your afternoon high. Uh, towards the east, a lot cooler oh. as well. But before we talk about all those temperatures, let's really get into the down and dirty temperatures in the city of Toronto where we find Kelly Noseworthy. Thanks so much, Kelly. Yes. All right. Very cold. Bundle up. Good advice from the doctor. So speaking of wind chills, let's get to uh, this map right here. And you can see when temperatures are feeling close to minus 28 to minus 39 with the wind chill, so what it feels like on your skin, that's moderate risk of frostbite. So within 10 to 30 minutes, and we have a lot of areas across the southern prairies, northern Ontario, that's in that zone for today. Look as we get to very high. Within two to five minutes, you can get uh, frostbite. And we do have places like Gillum feeling close to minus 50. We are going to see wind chill values in Winnipeg feeling close to minus 28. Kenora, minus 30 for you. And over towards Alberta, Lethbridge, minus 14 for that daytime high. But the blue, that's your wind chill numbers. That's what you're dressing for. This afternoon, still cold temperatures here in Ontario. Very minus 9, feeling closer to minus 17. And it will get even colder tomorrow. So hard to believe, but it'll be minus 13 for tomorrow afternoon in Toronto with a mix of sun and cloud. But in the early morning hours, we could be seeing some snow being dropped across the GTA, so do be careful to take your time. We're going to see a mix of sun and cloud and a lot more sunshine heading into tomorrow. Uh, for the afternoon, still some scattered flurries in the north, but the harder hit regions are those traditional snow belt areas. You know the drill. We can get those westerly winds coming off of the Great Lakes, and we've got Perry Sound and the line of fire for the afternoon, as well as Owen Sound. But for tomorrow morning, the 402 in the London Strathroy area is going to get pretty hit hard for the morning commute. And for this afternoon, still off of Lake Superior, some heavy banding around Sault Ste. Marie. Sea effect is setting up off the Gulf of the St. Lawrence for Corner Brook in towards Buchan, some uh, blowing snow advisories. And for tomorrow, we're going to see some snow moving into Yarmouth and Halifax. Well, let's get away from the snow right now and check in with Deb Medieczka in Arizona. Good morning to you. Tuesday, January 6th. Developing stories. Nicole Carker, Chris Murphy. Extreme cold, still a concern. That's right. So frostbite, an issue on exposed skin. Snowfall forecast for today. And yes. temperatures improving into next week. So there is a light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. All right. I want to show you some temperatures here. You think it's cold this morning. Wait till tomorrow and Thursday morning across southern Ontario. But feeling like minus 20 with the wind chill. Pretty close to it anyhow. So Kelly knows where they join us outside. Bundle pretty much head to toe. Yep. All right, thank you very much, Kelly. Yeah, they'll uh, certainly come in handy look nationwide. Right. Uh, the blue, that's the wind chill, what it's going to feel like outside. Exactly. So Winnipeg, minus 30. In no. So how much fell? Well, we had 29 centimeters in Kamloops, 33 in Kelowna, 30 in Revelstoke. By the way, uh, in Asoyuz, 17 centimeters right. of snow. That's a third of your annual snowfall. And here, this is great news this right here. This is great news Grouse, for skiers. Mount Seymour, Cypress, all picking up between 20 and 40 centimeters of snow. And more snow today for Whistler. 
Whistler as well, so a fresh yeah. coating on the ground. And Jasper uh, is looking at 10 to 25 centimeters mm -hmm. into Wednesday morning. And Calgary already seen snowfall already. Yes, uh, I've already had about seven plus centimeters of snow get snowing down towards Lethbridge and Medicine Hat. So that's going to impact your morning drive. No two ways about it. And in terms of snowfall in for the Great Lakes, right. again, it's all about wind-driven snow squalls. Yeah, so westerly winds setting up, uh, you know, the typical snow belt areas. You know the drill. We're going to see whiteout conditions if you're in the Perry Sound area. Mm -hmm. And also western shores of Newfoundland, we've got some blowing snow advisories yeah. for you. So the snow falling, blowing all around, gusts up to 60 to 70 kilometers an hour, even higher at times tonight. My goodness. Also seen some sea effect snow off Bay of Fundy and the Gulf of St. Lawrence because of the cold air. And some areas could see additionally 5 to maybe 15 centimeters worth. Moving through tonight. All right, so Dem Medyachka is working in Arizona <laughs> this week. Let's check in with her as she looks at the desert in Scottsdale. In southern Manitoba did deal with frozen pipes. I was reading a lot of articles saying that the city is prepared uh, in Winnipeg uh, for that this year. So precautions are being made as we get back into the deep chill. And anything in purple is our coldest temperatures. Close to minus 30 here in Regina and Winnipeg to start off your day. And by the afternoon, it'll feel like minus 20 with the wind chill. Note that in Alberta, we do get a little bit of blues heading into the week. But that's a short-lived warm-up because we're back into those purples and not much of a change here across the country so that means cold air in place for the entire week now this morning in Saskatoon it feels close to minus 30 for you Winnipeg minus 28 Kenora minus 30 and as we look towards the uh, Wednesday morning temperatures to start off your day it will be minus 17 in Lethbridge for your wind chill Regina is minus 30 it'll feel closer to minus 38 so bundling up this week however we do have a lot of sunshine uh, for southern Manitoba and southern Saskatchewan for today and tomorrow it's just those cold northwest winds and by 30, a little bit of snow does move into Winnipeg. This will bring you about 5 centimeters of snow. And in Ontario this morning, cold as well. Thunder Bay, minus 30 with the wind chill. Capus Casing, minus 30. Wednesday morning, also pretty cold, even colder, in fact. And Dryden, feeling closer to the minus 40s. Now, let's head to southern Ontario right now, where it is a chilly morning as we start off. The kids are heading back to school. They got practice yesterday. So for today, I guess they're still wearing their mittens and their gloves and their hats all bundled up. Uh, how are you doing out there? Thanks, Kelly. And for this morning, look at your temperatures. So it is dangerously cold for many. Minus 11 in Toronto, uh, minus 13 in Barrie, feeling like minus 20 in Ottawa is minus 20. And here's the thing. The winds shift direction to a more northwest flow overnight tonight. The winds are picking up as well. So tomorrow, even colder. Uh, dangerously cold again here. St. Catharines feeling close to minus 23 with the wind chill. So that does shape up to be our coldest day of the week in Toronto. By Thursday, we're minus 10. And Friday, a little system moving through Thursday into Friday, uh, dropping about one to three centimeters in Toronto, and then it will move into Atlantic Canada. Well, let us have a little check-in with Deb Medyachka, who's been in Arizona this week. Very beautiful. She's checking out some of the beautiful skylines you can see at a fantastic hotel. Glad you could join us this morning. I'm meteorologist Nicole Karkic. We've got extreme cold warnings still in place through parts of the prairies, extending into Quebec and Atlantic Canada, places like uh, Churchill feeling close to minus 50 this morning. A uh, snowfall forecast for today on the west and the east coast. And temperatures do improve into next week. But until then, we have to stay safe with these wind chill values. So just remember to bundle up. As we look at our conditions across the country, anything in our purples, coldest temperatures this afternoon, Edmonton minus 19, Calgary minus 13. You will warm up into tomorrow, uh, but we can't say the same here for Ontario or Quebec. Now this afternoon's minus 8 in Toronto, minus 11 in Montreal, but for tomorrow afternoon it will be even colder. Now take a look at these temperatures. We've got some southwest winds this afternoon. Barrie will be minus 9, North Bay minus 10, and Ottawa minus 10, feeling like minus 6. We'll take so very slippery, slidey conditions when we get those snow squalls. That is ongoing today across southern Ontario uh, for areas like Perry Sound, and then that will be a concern in the London region tomorrow. This afternoon in Sherbrooke, it feels like minus 17 Halifax. Quite a difference compared to yesterday when you were above the freezing mark. It will be minus 11 for you today in St. John's as well. Yesterday you were plus 8. It's the board. Uh, cars needing to be plugged in and heated up for long periods of time all across the prairies. And this morning, Saskatoon's minus 30 with the wind chill. We do have some northwest winds for you in Winnipeg as well as Kenora. It'll be minus 19, feeling like minus 28. But we do have a lot of sunshine in 
store for you uh, this afternoon in the Prairie Provinces in the south as well as tomorrow. Uh, now these are our wind chill hazards for you, so a little bit of a guide. If you're going to be outside and wind chills are close to minus 28 to minus 39, that's moderate, but still within 10 to 30 minutes on exposed skin, you can get frostbite. And the, no the northern prairies were in the deep chill, you can get that frostbite in two to five minutes. Now for BC and Alberta, more snow today. Calgary, you've already seen seven centimeters. Thanks for joining us. I'm meteorologist Nicole Karkic with meteorologist Jacqueline Whittle. Good and morning. we're looking at some bitterly cold temperatures for people's mornings. So oh, yeah. maybe not a good morning for many as oh. they step out the door. It's one of those things, you know, it's like we prepare people and everybody's thinking, okay, it's going to be cold, it's going to be cold. Then it happens, you're like, it's that cold? You know, right. I mean, it's like you got to start your car early. you got to really make sure all of your, your body Here. is covered because yes. it doesn't take long to get frostbitten. Yes. So, yeah, it's cold. And I think we were anticipating this map, Jacqueline, because yeah. we're both wearing purple. We are. <laughs> yes, and, yes. And purple is the coldest air, blanketing most of the country, as you can see. A little bit warmer there in uh, southern Alberta, Jacqueline, as we yeah. head into Wednesday. But overall, not much movement on this map. <laughs> no, it's just staying in place. It, the Arctic uh, high pressure is uh, is the big player. But, you know, Calgary will get into a little downsloping by tomorrow, which is right. good. They'll bump up their temperatures to about three degrees. If you didn't leave by the mountains, you'd be, well, you'd be like Regina and Winnipeg. Exactly. Freezing. Very yeah. cold. And even cold towards Atlantic Canada. Mm -hmm. We've got Halifax minus 10 this afternoon, feeling closer to minus 18. St. John's minus 5 after yesterday, your high was plus 9, so a sharp contrast there. That's right, and in Ontario, still very cold as well, minus teens, but the coldest air yet to arrive tomorrow. In fact, you'll wake up to your daytime high, and then it's going right. to drop through the afternoon Oof. as opposed to the opposite. Let's go to Winnipeg. Is this? This wow. is Winnipeg. That's Winnip that looks like Winnipeg. <laughs> wow. Computer had a lot of problems with frozen pipes, That's and right. uh, the, the province is apparently getting prepared this year so that this doesn't happen again, because we know we're going to be back in the deep freeze. Excellent uh, point. That's good. You're right. We do know this every season. We know that we're up for these kind of cold air outbreaks, but this one, you know, might actually relax by the next few weeks, but then, yes. you know, we're back into it probably by the end of January. So minus 30s, minus 33 for for Larange, northern Saskatchewan, really getting some biting cold. And then we look at the extreme cold warnings, which, by the way, uh, when we get this far north in Canada, the threshold becomes minus 45 Celsius right. wind chills to have Environment Canada issue this. Exactly. Even minus, minus 50 oh. at times in the extreme north, places like Gillam and northwestern Ontario. And for you this morning in the west, yeah, Alberta. It's cold, minus 14 in Calgary this morning, uh, but a bit better here for the lower mainland. And a lot of people say, why is that? Why are we plus 7 and minus 21? All to do with the Pacific Ocean, right, Nicole? Yes, exactly. And the jet stream's helping out BC as well yeah. this week. And speaking of wind chills, here's what you need to know for frostbite. It only takes just a few minutes. Like if you look at minus 48 to minus 54, that's very high. It takes two to five minutes to get frostbitten. So it's very serious. Some of the things that we're talking about coming up on the show on my end, extreme cold, obviously still a concern. Right. The snowfall forecast for today will tell you who will be into the heaviest bands of snow. Of course, we have Mark Robinson also going to join us. And temperatures improve by next week. Thanks. Thank goodness it does relax. Exactly. Your way. With most of Canada in the deep freeze, these temperatures look a little tempting, don't they? Uh, Puerto Vallarta, 33 degrees for the daytime high. Cancun getting up to 28 and lots of sunshine all the way to Punta Cana. As we make our way to Montego Bay, we've got 28 degrees. Can't find a cloud in the sky there. Towards Puerto Plata, 30 degrees. You can cool down by heading into the water. And towards Nassau, getting up to 28 degrees. Also, clear day. Enjoy. On the morning show, our newsroom was flooded with images from Kelowna, a Soyuz as well, where people were shoveling over 30 centimeters of snow. And on Monday and Tuesday, lots of kids in the interior had a snow day. Kelly Noseworthy with getting tips on how to dress for the cold weather. So don't forget about wearing a hat and mittens as well as the layers. This video proves how unexpected and dangerous landslides can be. While Deb Nedyechka is still on that tough assignment in sunny Arizona. The beautiful sunshine. Then check it out, guys. An orange tree. It's citrus season here in Scottsdale. You won't see that in Calgary.